Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Hope you guys are doing well. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss the math object in JavaScript. Before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. So till now we came across many methods and properties of objects in JavaScript like the push method which we use to add something to the object or if we want to delete something from the object we can use the delete method right so these are some of the predefined methods we have in javascript for objects apart from these methods we have some predefined objects as well which are used in certain specific conditions math object is one among them we use the math object whenever we are making a calculator or working on a program with calculations on any kinds of numbers so the math object in javascript has built-in properties and these properties most often provide mathematical properties such as the pi and we have euler's constant and many more such methods if we talk about the methods present within the math object we have several methods present like we can't discuss all of them but we can look at these methods and we will use a few of them so let's move ahead and have a look at all the methods present in JavaScript. So guys, these are the methods we have. We have a list of methods having a variety of usage and you can pause the video and take a screenshot or if you want to note them down, you can do it as well. So it depends on you totally. So these are all the methods we have in math object. So we will go through a few essential methods which we might need ahead in this particular course. So let's move on and have a look at few of them. So I hope you guys are aware of the value of pi which is something like 3.1415 and so on. A hard to remember value, right? We can use the pi method in JavaScript and we don't have to read out or remember this value every time we need it. So the syntax is quite simple. All we have to do is we have to call this method and we are good to go. So let's print this value of pi now. We are going to print the value of pi. What we have to do is we have to write here document dot write and we have to use here math dot pi. So this is the syntax of how we can print the value of pi on our browser. So if you want to put it inside something like h1 tag or h2 tag, it's totally upon you. Go ahead and save this and check it out. So this is the value of pi, which is 3.1415926. So this is the complete value of pi. It's a hard to remember value, right? So JavaScript already stores the value of pi. So anytime we want it, like if we want to know the area of a circle, so we don't have to Google for the value or we don't have to remember the value. JavaScript gives us effortless access to use the value of pi. One more similar value is Euler's value. So we can use this method anytime. Just like we have the pi method, we also have the Euler's method. So we can use this method anytime we need the value. So the syntax for Euler's value goes the same as that for math.py. The only change is we will write e in place of pi so here in place of pi we will replace it with capital e so this is similar like we can use the same for pi and we can use the same for eulers the only difference is of a character so we can save it and see here is the value of eulers constant these values are pretty hard to remember right so anytime we need them we don't have to google it or we don't have to remember them as well so what we can do is we can use the math object and we are good to go in our program apart from that the math object is used for some other methods such as finding the square root of a number yes we can create the function for it still many of these easy and straightforward mathematical functions are already built in in javascript like the square root of a number or the power of a number if you want to round up a number we can use the built-in method for that also so let's make a program that gives us the square root of a number as we already discussed we can create a function for it but why do we do that when we can use the built-in JavaScript math object methods so let's move on and create a variable first so we'll 
remove this and we'll create a variable let's say where and and the value of n will be 49 let's suppose so we know that the square root of 49 is 7 so to get the output we have to create another variable that will hold the value returned by the math object so we'll create another variable let's say we are creating another variable where answer and this variable will hold the value returned by math dot sqrt so math dot sqrt is the method for returning the square root of a number so then we will print the value of answer now we will print the value of variable answer so we will write here document dot write and we will print the value of answer so let's print it inside the h1 tag so let's print the value of answer now and see if the output is 7 or not. So here you can see we have the output as 7. So the square root of 49 is 7. The program works like we give it a number. Let's suppose we are giving it a number 144. Okay, in place of 49, we are giving it a number 144. So this value will be stored in the variable n. Then it will find the square root of this number and it will save the square root in a variable answer so we have another variable here and the value of square root will be saved inside the answer variable and finally when we save this program we have the output as 12 so this is how this particular program works so there are several similar methods present in JavaScript and the following two methods we are going to discuss are a bit more helpful and we'll use them in future we'll definitely use them in future so the two new methods are the min and the max method let's suppose let's comment this out first so suppose we have a list of numbers and we want to find the smallest and the largest numbers present in that list so let's do it for the largest number first so the syntax for the max method goes like we'll write here document dot write let's suppose we are using here math max and we have a list of numbers let's suppose we have random numbers 1 2 6 3 and we are using random numbers so this is our list of numbers so what is the output of this particular program so we are using the math.max what this method will do is it will find the greatest number of all these numbers so here we can see that 8 7 4 2 5 is the greatest among all these numbers so if we save this program we will get the output as 87425 similarly if we copy this line and paste it here and instead of the max we will use the min method so what min method will do that it will find the smallest number of all these numbers so let's save it and see the answer here is 0 that's because 0 is the smallest number present in this list so that's how the min and the max methods work in Java. So the last method we are going to discuss in this video is math.power method. Suppose we want to print the value of 2 raised to the power 4. To print this on the browser we can also create a function but we have a method in math object that makes this task a little more straightforward. It is beneficial when we want to print a larger number. So what we have to do is we will again write here document dot write and this time we will use the math dot power method so here we have to provide it two parameters let's suppose we are providing here the parameters as 2 and 4 so it will print 2 raised to the power 4 the second parameter will be the power of the first number so this particular line will print 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that means 16 so save it and let's check the output now so here you can see it says 16 if we do the same for let's suppose 10 save it now and here you can see the output as 10,000 it is 10 into 10 which is 100 into 10 1000 into 10 10,000 so these are some vital math object methods present in JavaScript you can use the other methods as well as we have seen earlier in this videos we have a list of methods there are different methods present in math object methods the benefit of using 
these object methods is that it's way easier to write these eight characters. Suppose we are using the math.sqrt method. It is easier to use this method instead of creating a whole new function. So that's why we use the math object methods in JavaScript. That's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we will go through the date object in JavaScript. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply put. Thank you.